Hi everyone, I'm Shan Shan Qin, the postdoc from Genghis Palavan Group at Harvard. Today, I'd like to share with you our recent work on the long-term dynamics and the structure of neural representations. Learning and memory requires the brain to establish an association between sensory stimulus and the neuronal population activity or representations. In the conventional view, long-term memories and the stereotype behavior are associated with stable neural representations. However, more recent long-term reporting have shown that neural representation are associated with stereotype behavior continually change over days and weeks, a phenomenon called representation drift. For example, in rodent hippocampus, early study found that place field or place field of the given environment can be stable for more than one month. However, more recent long-term reporting found that place field of the same group a familiar environment continue to change over, the, over days. That means the place cells representing environments are dynamic and drifting. Similar representation drift had also been reported in many other brain areas. The ubiquity of representation drift naturally raised the questions about its causes and underlying dynamics. Motivated by the observation that synapses in the brain are highly dynamic, for example, the typical lifetime of synapse in hippocampus uh, is around one or two weeks. We hypothesize that if a neural population learns to represent sensory stimuli by optimizing objective function that has degenerate optima, then synapse in synaptic update will drive the network to explore this degenerate solution space, which needs to repetition drift. To test this hypothesis, we use a biological pause network called hippie and hippie network. This network may optimize an objective function called similarity matching. Here, similarity is defined by the inner product of two vectors. Basically, this network is trying to preserve this pairwise similarity of input data or neural activities. It has also been shown that this simple network can learn localized receptive field to tire this input data manifold. Hence, it provides a minimum model for brain areas where neurons have localized receptive field, such as hippocampus, place cells. Specifically, this network takes input vector X and runs this neural dynamics until it converts to generate the neural activity Y. And then it updates both the forward mit with matrix W and the network matrix M by this simple heavy and heavy learning rule. Our primary interest is to explore how introducing synaptic noise will affect this long-term behavior of receptive field. We use this model to study hippocampal place cell formations. In adult rodents, it has already been suggested that one of the possible mechanisms for hip uh, place cell formation is that parameter neurons in hippocampus receive direct input from uh, gray cells in the medial enteroidal cortex, and they also compete with each other via these local inhibitor neurons. Specifically, we train a HIP and HIP network to represent this 2D square shaped environment. The input to this, to this model, which is uh, the population representation of each position by a group of different gray cells. After learning, you can see. The output neuron develops this localized receptive field, resembles a place field, and there are some silent neurons also here. If you look at the position of each centroids and put them together, you can see those active place uh, cells, they tire this 2D environment quite uniformly. To make a direct comparison with the existing experiment, which were done uh, using linear 1D environment, we train our model for this uh, linear track environment. Again, after learning, you can see neurons develop this localized receptive field to tire this linear track, but they drift over time. Despite such drift, the repetition similarity matrix of uh, pairwise position is stable over the simulation time. And the qualitative behavior has also been observed in an experiment. We also look at this uh, population vector that correspond to a specific location. Due to the drift, this population vector evolved 
continually evolve over time, as can be quantified by the auto correlation coefficient, which decays over time. This is also true uh, in experiment. If you look at this uh, single um, place field, you can see it has active time period and silent time period. But as a population, there is a constant fraction of active, active neuron at any given time. And this is a similar uh, in experiment. Our simple model also predicts that drifting receptor field should be coordinated. So we check this in experiment. Showing here are the central positions of active place cells over the time course of two weeks. This magenta line just highlights one of the trajectories. We found that there is a distant dependent correlation of drifting directions in both our model and in the experiment, but it cannot be explained by this independent random work indicating that drifting or receptor field are coordinated. Our model can also explain drifting behavior in another brain region, posterior parietal cortex during sensory motor tasks. To summarize, I have shown you that Degeneracy and synaptic noise can explain the drip, repetition drift. We, we show that this drifting receptor field are coordinated to um, preserve this pairwise similarity. And our model recapitulates many experimental observations, such as uh, the phenomena observed in hippocampus and posterior parietal cortex. For more details, please come to my poster or check out our preprint. With that, I would like to thank my collaborators and founding sources.